I'm pleased to say I'm joined by the winner of the first World Seniors Champion of Champions, Leonard Gates. Thanks for the time, Leonard. How are you doing? All right. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Doing good. And thanks for the time. We're talking only a few days after you won the title in Blackpool, coming all the way through the Golden Ticket Qualifier on Friday to lift the trophy on Sunday. Has it fully sunk in yet what you achieved at the weekend? Uh, yeah, it's getting there. Um, you know, uh, things things just, you know, it, it comes at you quick. And uh, just realizing you you won a big major uh, tournament and uh, just trying to go forward from there, staying positive and, and looking forward to playing more darts. Well, we'll come back to the weekend just gone later, but I want to rewind to when we last had you on the show. And funnily enough, it was this week last year you were getting ready to fly over for Lakeside, your first Steel Tip World Championship. First of all, the walk-on at Lakeside, the John Cena theme song. What was the inspiration behind that? Uh, it was it's just a, it, it's a song that, that um, kind of just, it's hype, it's, 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 it has energy. So, you know, I wanted to go in and play in with that energy like that. So that was, for me, that was a good choice of song to uh, walk in on, you know. We definitely enjoyed it, and although the result didn't go your way at Lakeside, it was the first of many appearances that you've had in front of the cameras over the next 12 months. Leaving Lakeside, did that give you a drive to want to get back playing on a stage again as soon as you could? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, that experience on the, on the Lakeside stage was just, just like none other than I've, I've experienced before, and um, I was just like, oh, yeah, I can, I, I can definitely get used to this. Uh, just, you know, the lights, the crowd, the cheering, uh, the stage atmosphere atmosphere that's just you and your opponent one-on-one uh, battling to see who comes out on top. Well, let's get on to the next one. And next up was the U.S. Darts Masters, uh, a little closer to home for you than Lakeside at Madison Square Garden. What was that experience like playing in that iconic arena? Oh, man, that, that, was, that was great. Um, not only playing in Madison Square Garden, but just the energy that I got from the crowd, um, the, the 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 competitive atmosphere, playing against the other uh, players, man, that was that was the most wonderful uh, dart experience I, I've experienced just yet. You know, and that week you also won the North American Championship that got you a spot. Uh, Ali Pali and uh, a few weeks later they confirmed that win got you in the Grand Slam as well so looking back now how important was that title for you in helping you progress as a player on stage as well oh man that that win was so important uh to give me those opportunities to play on more big big stages and go experience the uh the the most competitive darts I've ever played uh that year and and I look back on it and just tell myself, "Wow, wow, wow!" I was I was blessed with with just going and playing some of the better player, best players in the world, and and just constantly competing and, and shooting and it. Oh my God, it's, it's it was just unexplainable to me, you know. I, I'm I'm still soaking up those thoughts of, of being there and doing those things again. I'm looking forward and hoping I can get back there and do that again this year. Before those events, you also got an invite to the World Series finals in Amsterdam. And I've got to ask you about the video I saw of you on Dutch TV of all those birds. One was on your head at one point. What was that all about? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, they, 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 I was uh, taken to kind of experience a little bit of Amsterdam. And uh, those were one of the things that they told me about it uh, that I needed to experience was just being in a square and, and, and having all the pigeons surround you and you can feed them and they just get to the point where they get comfortable with just like they're human beings, you know, getting next to you, not afraid of you and feeding off, feeding off the seeds out of your hand and everything. Wherever you put the seeds, that's where they're going to eat them from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we enjoyed watching it. And, uh, the year finished with a, a return to the UK for the Grand Slam. Then it was the big one, the PDC World Championship. How did you find those two debuts, two of the biggest events that Darts has got to offer? Um, they both had some of that same energy and atmosphere. Uh, the Grand Slam, uh, 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 the statue of it, and but then the World Championship. Oh my God! It was just that was so awesome to go from one to the next and still have that 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 vibe, that energy uh, from the crowd, the people that's loving darts, coming to watching darts. I mean, I've watched them a lot. 
line up to, to get inside so they can see the players perform. Man, that that's an unbelievable sight and experience to experience, you know? And for yourself, you've been racking up the air miles over the last 12 months. Is, is the travelling side of yes. it something you're getting more used to or are those long flights and then getting that preparation right something that you're still trying to get to grips with? Well, uh, actually, it, it's it's... You know, it's not that far coming from U.S. To, to, to over here to Europe as far as it is as I was was traveling to Asia. But um, it's 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 quite comfortable. It's almost like flying domestic now. I've done it so many times. <laughs> <laughs> many darts fans there have fancied you to win a tour card at Q School, but you decided to skip Q School this year. You had that invite to the World Seniors Championship. Was that a tough decision to miss that? Uh, yeah, um, it, it, it was a lot of thought process going into it, and uh, just to, I told myself, let me give myself another year to experience uh, more darts than just, you know, getting on a PDC uh, tour card and getting on a circuit and just doing that, but um, I, I think it was a good choice, but it was definitely uh, a choice that, that weighed on my shoulders to uh, skip, you know, going to trying to get my tour card well it looks like it's paid off with that title at the weekend and, and just before that you had that great run at the world seniors championship making the semi-finals and after the matches the dancing on the stage as well you've quickly become a, a crowd favorite how much does that support mean to you oh um, man i guess um it, it means a lot you know i just i was just getting out there to to, to just trying to loosen up and and and, and get into them the mood of things and they were very receptive to it and i'm just like oh my god they 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 like this stuff and then to to get on stage and perform uh with with some abilities to compete with the with the top notch dark players in the world that's that's just another level there you know what i mean it's it's a plus uh the energy uh something to take from it as a dark player and something to feed off uh in the future Well, then we come on to last weekend, just gone, and you're in the field for the Golden Ticket Qualifier. We saw the draw for the Champion of Champions. That was made during the World Championship. The winner would play Phil Taylor. And I remember when we last spoke, you said when you first started playing darts, you watched a lot of Phil Taylor. You wanted to play him, but he retired. So I'm guessing seeing that draw, you are quick to enter that qualifier to give yourself a chance to fulfil that dream. Yeah, um, man, it's, it's leading up to that point. You know, I guess there were some doubts, you know, like say come over for a chance to win one spot amongst all these other guys, this and that. And and I just told myself, man, just go in there and play darts. Play your darts, see how it turns out. Um, and then when, when, when I won it, and I'm like, okay, I won this golden ticket now. And I'm like, you know what? The fight's not over because now you have to face uh, the greatest dart player in the world. <laughs> That's Phil Taylor, first round. And I'm just like, come on, man. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it definitely, it definitely was a headache, but at the same time, it was it was an enjoyable headache, you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely a good one to have. And looking at your results from that qualifier, um, many of our listeners will know I'm a big Coach Stompe fan, and I was getting excited following Dark Connect on Friday when he took out that one five seven. He was three one up against you, but you came back and beat him in a decider. Did that early scare focus you for the rest of the qualifier? Um. Yeah, I did because because um, I'm not gonna say so much scared me, but it just it, it it helped me focus a little bit more than than what I was on. I, the focus was there, but uh, he was shooting great darts, and I was like, okay, so you know, Gates, turn on that turn on that extra gear to get back in this game, at least tied up. And so if we got that last decider to go to. You know, you can't do nothing after the, after the last dart hits the mark and marks in the, and the score marks zero. So, yeah, it was definitely an eye-opener. And for that qualifier, it ran for you from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. You won it to book that meeting with Phil on the stage the next day. Some people might have been surprised to see you stick around for the open event, which started just after, instead of maybe resting up for the next day. We know from last time you love playing darts. So did you consider an early night? Uh, no, not that night. I just I told myself, because after I won and, and it's like that, it's like, wait a minute, they got another event that I can play in. So, hey, let me let me let me go ahead and play in that and get all the darts I can before the uh, uh, before the stage the, the, the next day, you know. I just knew I just had to get some rest after I, after I played, though. 
to play Phil Taylor on that stage on the Saturday, come through 10 8. I'm sure you were happy with the win, but to share the stage with someone that you'd watched for a long time, what was that like? Oh, um, man, that, that was the greatest experience that anybody could experience because, of course, the Dart World, uh, uh, fans of the Dart World, they know who Phil Taylor is, what he's done. You know, like I told him, told other people, I said, yeah, he's retired. This now. I said, but. Phil has, he still has the experience, you know, uh, um, it, 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 I think it's more fun for him now. He's more relaxed and, 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 and enjoying it. There's no pressure on him. So that makes Phil Taylor dangerous and playing this game because like I say, as I was playing him, I could, I could sense the focus that, that he was getting in and the zone he was getting in. I told myself, I said, okay, if I got the lead, I better keep the lead because once he gets hot, there's, yeah, I, I'll, I'll be in trouble then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get past a dangerous Phil Taylor and on Sunday you get past Martin Adams and Richie Houston to win the title and the final with Richie, you race into that early lead and see at home. What were the emotions like when that winning double went in and you are lifting that trophy? Oh man, that was, that was that was great. You know, um, uh, uh, the game before, I guess against Martin Adams, I I finished on a double ten, and I realized that I had double ten left when uh with against Richie, and I said, yeah, you know what? That I think right now that probably my favorite double because I got I've hit him to 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 win some deciding games, and the feeling just when it went in, it was just like, oh my God, that's it. That's it, you know. It's like it's like turning the key and you're opening the shrine of, of just victory, and and that was yeah, you know. I was just sad that it was over, but I was also happy that it was over. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talk about your love for darts. It's a game that you've played. It will be thirty years next year since 1994, and and here you are now winning titles on TV, beating some of the legends of the sport, and you're back at it in a few days on the Moda Super Series as well. You just can't stop playing, can you? No, I can't stop playing it. I mean, it's 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 a, it's, it's a fun uh, activity to take up, and if you get into it for the right reasons, um, I tell people you you will enjoy this game for a long, long time. And and you know, by me playing and putting the work in, I'm I'm reaping the benefits of it now. But it's still it's also still fun uh, while I'm doing it, man. It's 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 a great feeling right now. I'm just on top of the moon. And let's just look ahead then after this week. What have you got your eye on for the rest of the year? What are the tournaments you've got on your radar? Are there any that you're trying to focus on to maybe try and qualify for as well? Uh, whoo, well, I just um, have to see what my manager has coming up for that. But, you know, we have some 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 big tournaments coming up in uh, in the States. Uh, like I said, we got the cross-border um, challenge for the CDC. And the winner of that wins a spot for the U.S. Dart Masters. So it's, it's a couple of couple of opportunities to win a spot back in for the uh, U.S. Dart Masters. And I'm looking forward to getting in that and trying to win it again to see see what it what that entails for this year. Uh, you know, but like I said, those guys they know who won it last year. They they they're hungry. They're coming after it. So we're gonna see how that goes. But yeah, definitely though, that's that's one of the biggest ones we got coming up in the U.S. And I'm looking forward to that. And just lastly, when we look through the list of Americans to win a darts tournament on TV, you've got Larry Butler, Stacey Bromberg among the names, and now you're on there as well. What does that mean to you? Oh, man, that's 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 great to share the uh, that spotlight with with uh, Larry and Stacey. Uh, God rest her soul. It's it's one of those things that that probably will be talked about positive and positively and or negatively uh, throughout the years. And but if I could keep doing it, is they're gonna be like, hey man, it's this guy, you know, he's got it. So you know, I mean, the way I play, the way I feel, you know, I'm really not doing it for to be the showboat of it, but I'm doing it for the you know to win. You know, I'm in this game to win it, uh, to play my best. Uh, whoever I play it against. And just to just to have fun and keep it going, you know. You definitely did that at the weekend, winning the champion of champions, Leonard. Congratulations on the title, everything you've achieved over the last twelve months, and wish you all the best for what else is to come this Thank year you. as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alex.